So age for a second here, another Roses toy hunt tonight. I went to Roses and I made this video with a theme in mind because I saw a lot of the same stuff. I saw big oversized weapons, check. Limited articulation, check. And cool accessories, check. For example, this two nine, this uh, basically two dollar uh, one ninety nine set had guns way too big, figures that were limited, and of course some really cool accessory backpacks. I love this four uh, four dollar set even better. It has like a sci fi antenna, like satellite thing, a uh, computer, some cases, and the guns aren't too oversized. It's almost a shame that they're almost the right size for the figures. Of course, the figures couldn't articulate to hold those rifles, but they'd look great in a display in the background or something of that nature. Uh, you know, so this is actually a tempting set. I didn't buy it, but I might go back and get one since they're there pretty regularly. Now, um, I love that they've taken our bomb disposal guy and made him a firefighter. Even though his fire truck is this tiny helicopter he can't sit in because he doesn't have leg articulation. Um, but yeah, if you know anything about the True Heroes line that was at uh, Toys R Us, they had a military figure that was a bomb disposal guy that's the same exact sculpt as this. Uh, and he would always be in like a $30 or $40 set with a bunch of other stuff. So the only way to get him is to buy one of the big sets. Well, now you can get him for only $3 if you don't mind doing a little painting. So uh, good luck finding this out there if you're interested in it. Uh, and I really liked him. Uh, I have one myself. I actually almost bought this one again just because I would like to see how I could paint him up and actually make him even look cooler uh, without having to mess up the one that I have already. So I might go back. I don't know. The the other guy in the set, the, the other set I should say, is kind of like a Sarge looking dude to me of the way his hat is and everything. I would almost uh, have to take that head and put it on another figure and uh, make him like a drill sergeant or something of that nature. The uh, of course the boat is awesome. It's a jet ski with like mil <laughs> with like machine guns. That police force is kind of sick. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, you got all these other guns and stuff in there. Oversized weapons, check. Oversized firefighting gear, check. <laughs> I know this to these firefighting gear is for another toy line completely. The original mold was, at least. These Star Wars figures, uh, limited hard configuration, check. But they didn't check the box of having oversized weapons. Uh, they have the right size weapons. They're licensed figures. Uh, they look pretty cool. I actually liked the start that movie pretty good, so I was really kind of tempted to pick a few of these up. If you, uh, you know, especially the guy who thinks he's a Jedi. <laughs> the Force is one with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, DC I had some cool looking uh, figures, especially that Bane I was kind of into. Of course, if I'm going to buy a, a figure, a plastic figure, that's why am I paying $4 when Star Wars is only 2 and this is a statue. Of course, shipping and size are a factor, and <laughs> it's just it's just funny. Anyway, uh, I really liked uh, some of the stuff I saw today. These Warcraft uh, figures, there's you can see there's some Suicide Squad stuff hanging out still. Though I've shown those before, so I didn't get pictures of that today. It's basically just Batman and that military guy from Suicide Squad, and the Batman is the guy, the Batman from. Uh, when he fought Superman, but not in the movie, in the uh, comics. Um, uh, they had some Miles from Tomorrowland figures, but only the girls, not the to Miles himself. I really like the ships and stuff from Miles in Tomorrowland. I wish they made more of those uh, available. Um, but, you know, beside the rest of the other figures, I don't really have anything against. I just don't really care for that much. I kind of have this thing where I want to get some real space guys that look cool, so I'm looking out for that. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Pour on the plastic. I'm going to beam up out of here.